A friend recently asked me, why don't you like religion? It is a fair question and it deserves a real answer. I could have went into a tirade about how divisive religions are, or the effect that religions have on children, or I could have referenced some of the terrible stories in the Bible. Fortunately, my mental faculties were in order and I was able to provide a truthful answer that went right to the core of the issue. I said, I don't like religion because I don't think that there is a God. After all, what would you think of religion if you didn't believe there was a God? What would you think of all the time and money spent promoting a God that wasn't real? What would you think of all the horror stories told to children about how they will go to hell if they don't worship the right God? How would you feel if you realized that instead of talking directly to the creator of the universe when you prayed, you were actually just talking to thin air? If given the time, I could have gone further to explain why I do not think there is a God. I will do that now. Is there a God? For millennia, we have asked ourselves that question, and yet no one really knows the answer. Millions of people think that they know. In fact, they are certain beyond the shadow of a doubt that their God exists. But then again, there are millions of other people who know beyond a shadow of a doubt that their own God exists instead. What would it mean if there was a God? What would it be like? Given the absence of any facts beyond hearsay, and given the lack of a specimen to actually examine, we should consider what we know from what we have seen in nature. If a god is an intelligent being, then what do we know about intelligent beings? For starters, every intelligent being that we know of is a living creature. It is born, it lives, it reproduces, and it dies. Furthermore, every living creature that we have seen is part of a larger group, a species. I think that if there is a god, then there must be many gods, a whole order of them. In order to be considered gods, they would have to be so great in their power and in their intelligence that their very nature would be far beyond our understanding. Their ways would seem like magic to us. Their ways would in fact be magic. Though this begs the question, what is magic if not just a natural phenomenon that we don't yet understand? Would we invent this sort of being if it did not actually exist? That wouldn't make sense, would it? Isn't that an indication that there must be a god? Well, looking into history, we have invented thousands of gods that don't exist. Even modern day Americans are still inventing gods. But what if these people are all just inventing the same god? What if they are just getting it slightly wrong? That's a great question, and it's also a big problem. Why would a god let all of these people get it wrong? Especially in the case of the most popular modern religions, when getting it wrong means you go to hell for it. To me, it all boils down to one simple thing. Is there a god? If there was, and if he actually cared about humankind, then no one would ever have to ask. The other day I saw this article in the newspaper. It is a picture of the Pope on his recent visit to Cuba. They say that a picture paints a thousand words, and this one does not fall short. If anyone ever wanted proof that there is no God, or at least proof that the Catholic God does not exist, then here it is. Right here. The Pope riding around in his armored box. Why would God's holiest representative on earth need to ride around in an armored box? All around us we see evidence like this, things that tell us that we are on our own. The Pope's armored car, churches who buy property insurance, children starving to death all over the world and all throughout history, the fact that bad things happen to the most pious followers of all religions, the fact that where holy books get it wrong, modern humanity gets it right, these all stand as evidence that we are indeed on our own. And we've done a damn good job of being on our own. Everything that makes modern life so good, so easy, so entertaining, all comes from us. The farming techniques that enable us all to eat as much as we want, the medical care that allows us to survive heart attacks and live to be a hundred years old, the massive amounts of information that is available at our fingertips, the ability to create beautiful music and carry it around with us and listen to it whenever we want, running water, cars, roads, airplanes, the postal service, personal security, the list is practically endless. Every one of these things comes to us thanks to the efforts of our ancestors, our fellow humans, and ourselves. Is there a God? No one really knows, but one thing is for sure. Either there is no God, or God is hiding. We are on our own. For better.